Hello everyone. If you have a problem with hauling and storing and transporting tables and chairs for parties or gatherings or whatever it may be and you and you do it regularly, we, we run into that issue. We've got a little place to where we'll have people over and we were all the way always fighting hauling tables and chairs. And so I'll show you what we come up with and maybe it'll help somebody. You might design your own, but I'll show you what we come up with and it's been a big time saver. We're not, before I go anywhere, we're not going very far with this. We're just going usually down the hill to the pavilion. So it's not like we're gonna put this on the highway. It's, we're keeping it on the property, but I'll show you what we come up with. It's been pretty nice for us. Anyway, we just took half inch plywood. This is a six by 12 trailer. No, let me rephrase myself. It's a five by 10 trailer, five by 10. Um, but anyway, we've got down at the river, we've got cable run down there. So when it gets college football time, we've got a TV we'll take down there. So on the front of it, we've got our TV mount to where we can just take it off of this and hook it on our mounts down there at the pavilion or on our bathhouse. Tables, we just run them here on the side and it's still a work in progress. We're moving things around, but we've got, I think 10, eight foot tables that we haul. And then we've got some additional storage space here. I'm playing around with relocating this maybe over here so this strap doesn't get in the way, but we'll just use this tall propane tanks or we've got a fan we hook up in the summertime. Move you around back. I think everybody plays cornhole on occasion. So we've got a little rack built on the back side to where the cornhole boards just hang and you can pick them up off of that little mouth there. And anyway, you got your cornhole boards and you ain't got to worry about loading them in the back of a truck or something, hauling them down there. I, I'll, I'll make you a video on these cornhole boards. We, we live in East Tennessee and there's not a level spot anywhere. So I always hate playing cornhole and you're, you're on the side of a hill, one board's leaning one way and one's leaning the other. But I built these to where they don't have the swinging legs on them. These actually slide into these posts and you've got a little bit of an adjustment. I'm gonna make a modification to where we got more modif more adjustment. But anyway, I'll break you a video on that if you if you live in a place where you don't have flat ground. Anyway, those work pretty good. But on the other side, we basically just took and made some slots. I can get 13 chairs in each row. So I think I've got 80. I think the math is right. I think I've got 80 chairs on there maybe. But anyway, that comes in handy so you just pull in wherever you're going to go, grab a chair, pull them out, set them up, and then you can pull the trailer out of the way. We've took, and we had some old carpet laying around so the chairs didn't get skinned up. We took and wrapped that over the rail and put it on the bottom so they don't slide around. And then on top, we had some space up there, so we just enclosed that and made a just a trough down through there to where we can put bag chairs and cornhole bags and whatever you need to take down there you can do it so anyway it works really well it's a time saver and uh if you've got the same problem that we had maybe you don't build this version but maybe you come up with your own but it works really well i'll tell you one more thing that i'm going to add to it is we usually will take a grill or we got one of those flat top uh blackstone griddles and it's aggravating having to put it on a trailer and hauling it down there so i'm going to put underneath the bottom i'm going to build a a rack right here that'll slide in and out to where we can mount our grill on the side and haul it down there as well and don't have to wrestle it around so it's a one tree up and you got everything down there you need but anyway if you got this problem Hopefully this gives you an idea and you can build something of your own, but hey, it saves a lot of time. It's a lot more convenient. Anyway, hope this helps. I'll catch you on the next one.